Right, here we are at South Walsham. And we're in shimmering light. I keep telling everybody every time I turn it on. Looks ridiculous, isn't it? Now, this morning, there was a deer just there. Just making the first cup of tea of the morning. And there was a deer right near the water's edge just there. And actually, Wendy shot one last night when we arrived. Could be the same one, couldn't it? Um, this is a quite a nice spot. I mean, these boats here, they belong to the marina. There's no, there's, you know, the private boats in the marina, but there's nobody here. The only other boat is up there, bloke fishing. And uh, so we're very, very quiet. And this is where we are. Let's just show you. South Walsham. Bit of a walk to the village and across a field as well from what I can remember. So oh, it's very overcast today. I don't know what it will be like. I'm only gonna get sorted out anyway, get a move on. Oh, Wendy's just seen a Chinese water deer. Just there. It just turned round and walked off. It didn't even notice us. Even that one smiled at me. It smiled at her. <laughs> we ain't got a phone, had we? Oh dear. No camera, nothing. There's Graham tying off now. You see him? setting off it's a little bit windy this morning There's an Erin.
sail again. Yeah. Yeah, I've just seen the thing. Man on the roof over there. Oh, here's our boat. Now our boat's been back for a new battery. We had a low battery. One is a block of four, but one of them wasn't very good, and the heater wouldn't work very well. But let's see how many boats there is here. Going inside, get me dinner. Well, there's Potter Iron Bridge behind the boats, and this is Herbert Wood's reception. You go in there to collect your boat, you bring your car in through the entrance there. There's a key code to let you in. That's where the webcam sits on top of that building. If you have a look online. Oh, right now we're going to head down this way right this is the main entrance here where the boats are all kept there's a load of the sheds there and the shed behind us this way we're going in that direction they actually uh, build the boats here and fit them out the big crane there look they use for lifting the boats in and out yeah. section A the workshop. A few boats in there at the moment. Trolleys you carry your stuff to and from your boat. There's some more boats look. There's not many boats out at the moment. I think that's what the lady said to me when I went in and she said your name is Graham isn't it? <laughs> So I think they've not got many boats out, so you can remember who I was. Anyway, our boat's just down here. Right, there's the exit, well and the entrance if you're coming back. I'll be going through there soon, out onto the river. Get filled up with water while we're here, and then off we go. Well, we're about ready for setting off now. Got a few bits kicking about already. There's the grill and the cooker. That, they seem pretty new. And the fridge. And some drawers there. That's looking down past the galley. The engine's on the left there. Got towels on top to keep it warm. There's the back of the boat. That leads into the bedroom. Then we've got the television. A couple of sockets there working off an inverter. There's a central heating radiator. And the table look for two that does fold out another leaf 
Yeah, as you can see, we're still in the boatyard at the minute. We don't normally park this close. Right. Show you the bedroom. There's some of our stash of food up there, look. <laughs> Here's the bedroom. The bed's not very tidy because I've done it. Double doors at the back. Wardrobe. Extinguisher look. I'll bring you back this way. There's some drawers you see there. And there's the radiator in this room. A little tiny like vanity unit with a mirror there look of course we've got the lights up there this is the bathroom radiator in here as well and the toilet and the bath the shower over the bath now bath is a little unusual, but they do have jacuzzis in some of them, funnily enough. But uh, this is all right in here. That's the uh, Broads Rangers behind us in the boat, look. Can you see us? Well, actually, they're in front of the boat, but behind the camera. Can you see them? <laughs> there was a fisherman there, but I think he's got his license. We've just pulled up in Awning, and this is on the uh, the free mooring. You can get, I don't know, four or five boats in here. Well, you can if they moor properly, but they moor all over the place so you can't get in. <laughs> anyway, we've stopped here just for a quick stop. We're just having a coffee. Well, we really are. <laughs> um, it's Tuesday now, and we've been on this boat since the Friday. Um, it's been brilliant. The weather the first day was really good, but for two days it's been wet and horrible. We've been fine travelling about in the boat. We're nice and warm. We got the eating sorted out. It worked while you were moving, but there was a, there's a bank of four batteries in this boat, and one of the batteries was not up to voltage. Now, it, <laughs> the eating, it's central eating, it runs on a diesel eater. Now I've fitted a diesel eater in the past, we had one ourselves and they're very, they don't like it if the voltage drops, you've got to have decent, decent batteries. Now it kept cutting out and I said to Wendy, this is the battery, either it ain't got enough batteries in or there's something wrong. Anyway, we, we happened to go back towards Potterheim anyway, so I called in um, and I said to him, We've got trouble with the eating. I says, it's switching off at half eight at night. It's that cold. We have to go to bed. <laughs> to be honest, we're tired out anyway. But it's true. <laughs> you have to go to bed, don't you? And um, she said, oh, that's not good enough. I'll get an engineer on it. And I said to him, we need some oil as well. There's not enough oil to top the engine up. And um, anyway, he come and he had a look and he checked the battery. He says, all oh, the batteries are fine. You're not revving it enough and it, all this. Anyway, put the tester on the batteries and, and there's a bank of four batteries. One of the batteries was duff. Now, to be fair, it looked an older battery than the other three. I didn't have any close inspection, but the bloke come on board, he were, he were good, really. He were very good. He checked it out and he says, ah, I think one of the batteries is a bit low, but it shouldn't make any difference. So he says, I'll change it anyway. And I thought, well, that's a relief. So he changed the battery. Fantastic now. We cruised yesterday afternoon and we pulled up. You've probably seen that already. Um, and we pulled up in this mooring. There was nobody near us for miles. We were the only boat there. It's a popular spot in the summer, but there was nobody there. It was perfect. Well, we had the heater on all night. You, you know, it was still working fine. We were, I don't know what time we went to bed. It fairly early because you're tired. I don't like you cruising about in the fresh air. So we went to bed and it was still fine. So that I'm confident that's fixed that. I know, you know, you should you'd say, well, you know, you shouldn't have had this problem, but I don't think this boat's been out this year. It's very early in the season. 
it's been great. We've had a great time. This has been, I don't know. It's not everybody's idea of an holiday, but for us, it's perfect. Just stop when you want, do what you want, go to bed when you want, get up when you want, eat what you want. Well, I say eat what you want. We brought food from home. Um, we always do. Don't like spending loads of money. <laughs> Could bring the air fryer though. No, well, we have brought the air fryer. It's in the boot to the car. For the next holiday. <laughs> For the next holiday. Right. What I was going to, what I wanted to mention, look, really, I'm sat in the way because, look, if you look behind you, can you see that? You see that pub there, look? That is a really, these chairs are fantastic, mate. They can barely keep away. That pub behind us, that's in awning. Now, that's really, I think that pub's from the late 1700s. It's a really old building and it's its a focal point. Now, I don't, can, I don't know, can you see? No, I don't think you can see it, but there's an old mock paddle steamer down there. Let me swing that way. Can, can you see that? It might be right just there. Oh, no, I think now the well. boat's in the way. We'll show you a video okay. of that, we'll so there's no that. worries. Anyway, what we're going to tell you, that pub, it's a very famous pub and it's been in a few films and that, but I'll be honest, Arthur Ramson, he did a series of films, didn't he? Uh, Swallows and Amazons, The Coot Club, The Famous Five, or was it Famous Six? I forget. <laughs> I can't, can't count, mate. I can't remember how many there was. And the Ola Baloos. <laughs> um, and what it is, that's one of our favourite films and it's the one based on here. And as Wendy said, they had the, the Ola Baloos. He untied the boat, didn't he? Because they were wrecking the nest. But if you've never watched that film, I suggest you watch it. I mean... Not the new one. I suppose we're a bit silly because we love it. Because we love coming to the broads, don't we? But every, I, thought, I think everybody knows what it's all about. But that is the pub where they tried to get him in trouble. And the, the copper come and said, these lads were digging my garden and all this. You know, you, you probably know. But anyway, that's the, gar that's the, the pub. It's a vintage pub. I think the meals are all right in there. Not that we've been it. I don't think we've ever. I think we have been in. I can't remember. I can't remember. It'd be a long time ago if we have. And um, it's a lovely spot. Just over my shoulder there, as I say, there's that mock paddle steamer. That does days out and parties. It's pretty good. And just the other side of that is a sailing club. But I'll show you in a minute. Now that sailing club there, when they have them out, it's great. I like, you know, all right, people perhaps complain you're dodging sailors, but it's great. Um, and me and Wendy have also happened to hire a boat once when the Three Rivers race was on. Mate, sailing boats everywhere it were fabulous. And we just pulled up, tied up to a tree, and we had a tall boat then. It wasn't really a broads boat, but it was a proper gym palace. So we sat right on the roof and we sat there all day watching them. It were great. But of course, this holiday, this, this boat is a standard type of boat, you know, so it will go under bridges and what have you. So uh, I thought about it, I'd just have something to say, really. Um, while we're thinking about it, I'll just show you. I'll show you what where, the, where exactly we are. Oh, we're moored up at the moment. We've just stopped for a, stopped for a, a bit of dinner. And we've got these sausages left over and a bit of bacon. Mm. And what's that in there, mate? Black pudding! Oh, we've got black pudding as well, I forgot about that. <laughs> I like it, this is the old fashioned way of cooking, looking at the boat. They're using the gas, look. Mm. We're off grid, eh, you know? You know, you're left to here. We need a power bank! <laughs> we need a power bank. Right. <laughs> I like when you carry on with this, you know, because you still keep rumbling a little bit. Still have eggs with this as well. I don't think it's right. fair doing it like this. It's more enjoyable, isn't it? Well, you can. Look, it's just fun, mate. I know. Um, mm. As you can see outside, it's not the most pleasant day. Well, if you got mind. in here, though, we don't mind. Well, I'll bring you back. Well, there's my dinner. I'm going to get stuck in now. Lovely. Now for tea tonight, I've got a lovely stew. It's been in our freezer for a few weeks. It's, I've brought it with us. It's eventually thawed out.
but this is about the fourth day. We've done well, really. It's acted as a big ice pack, to be honest, because <laughs> it was in my bag. Oh, Wendy's chucked it in the bin. I have, yeah. Never mind. You told I gonna, me to. I gonna, yeah, I did, but I was going to show you. Yeah, it was sorry. a great big bag of stew. But anyway, never mind that. Let's see if Wendy's this got is, fluffy dumplings. This is all I've got to do. I can't do nothing else. I ain't got no flour. For no, it's this. just a dumpling mix. <laughs> Actually, I haven't even got a mixing bowl. We've got nothing, have we? Nothing. We won't have, will you? The thing is. It's a bit dark in here already. Right, I can't it? measure it. You don't measure it anyway. <laughs> Tony Olsen will say that. We do when yeah, we're on film. It's just that dumpling mix there, look. So, uh, do you think we'll turn it out? Of course, we'll turn it out. I can't remember exactly when we made this stew. We did have the. Uh, There's one. <laughs> <laughs> we did have the date on the packet, but we're that busy trying not to spill any. There's got a lot there, I think we're going to do well to eat all that. Mm. Never mind. I'll just put that in the sink so don't make a mess. How many do you want? <laughs> I don't know, it looks a bit filling, doesn't it? Put a little bit more, so we've got two each. Yeah, just small ones. I think we're going to struggle with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've had a relaxing day cruising around. The weather's mm -hmm. not been very good, it keeps raining. We'll keep it, but it's too cold. <coughs> it doesn't matter when you're cruising around, really. A bit too much water. <laughs> too much water in there, though. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, this is, this is a new way of cooking, this is. <laughs> Do it in a gas oven. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's all we've got on this boat, isn't it? Everybody will love Wendy's dumplings. Oh, I'm sure they will. I, I, I love Wendy's fluffy dumplings, I do. They're just a job. Right, let's just show you. We've got the oven on. Well, I've got the. They're drying out, but look. Right, it's not a bad it? oven, actually, this. They're usually not that good. Yeah. They're usually not that good, but this one seems to be working pretty well. We're getting hey, you're not used going to back to another are you? No, this is this is alright. Right, we'll put them in and see what comes out. Right. Yeah. There's no light in there, is it, to show you? <laughs> I better find a torch or something. Yeah. I'll bring you back. Well, there's our stew. That looks all right. That's come out pretty good. I think Wendy's work. dumplings are all right. <laughs> That's a relief. They are. Right, let's get this dished up. I'm going to get stuck in. We've had a hard day. Well, I've been having porridge every morning, but uh, today we've got drinking chocolate in there. Look, and he's just warming the milk up. It shouldn't have milk with it, but it's we nice. Are doing. We are doing. And if these are not on fire yet, <laughs> well, they're not. Or oh, cross that, buns. Then. This grill's fantastic being this height because you're just looking straight into it. Look, you can see what you're doing. I mean, the oven's not bad. It just takes a little longer. The grill's been pretty good, but. Uh, it seems pretty bright this morning. It says it's going to be a cloudy day, but no rain. So I think we can expect these clouds all day. We're back on uh, Cockshoot Dyke, Cockshoot Broad. It was so nice here, we came back. Because it was very uh, wet yesterday, a bit horrible. And it's, it's nice here. You're a bit out of the way. Anyway, it's been lovely. Yeah. And I don't know whether I mentioned before, but we were laid here in the morning about as soon as it got light. I could hear a bittern, a booming bittern. You could hear it, but um, oh, lovely. Right, better look at the toast. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday the 13th of March. Steve's birthday. Now, today we've cruised from 
uh, Cockshoe Dyke because we spent the night there last night. Um, we were there on his own the other night and it was gorgeous. And in the morning you could hear the birds and everything. So we thought we were coming past and I said to Wendy, it's getting late, we'll just stop there. So we stopped there, it was great. Now as we pulled up, another boat pulled up, I thought oh, we got caught there, but that were all right. And then later on, just a good bit later, another boat pulled up and, you know, no problem again. But they had the engine running all night. <laughs> I don't know what electrical devices they've got running in that boat, but they had the engine running all night and they got the radio blasting out. So you, it's a lovely spot for wildlife, but you were never going to hear any. Um, it, were, it were a fairly calm night. It was all right there, really. It was all right. So we spent the night there, and in the morning, the engine were running early. I suppose everybody has showers and everything. If there's a few on the boat, I can, you know, you can understand it. It's fair enough. It's just the way it is. It sounds like I'm moaning. Um, it was a lovely big boat. It was beautiful. I would imagine that you've got plenty of power on there anyway, but uh, but we've been all right. Now, I know we had the batteries sorted out, they put a new battery in. Since then, it's been perfect. We've had no problem at all. We've had the heater running during the day. Sometimes, it, it's, because it keeps raining, it's been nippy. But when you're sitting in the boat, it's beautiful. You're just driving along, and all the countryside and the wildlife's there. Wendy's seen another Chinese deer yesterday. We couldn't believe it, out in the open. Again, I think Wendy did actually get a picture of that. I'll have a look if we've got it. I'll put it on here. But um, we've seen loads of stuff. It's been lovely because there's, there's hardly anybody about. Now, at the moment, we needed water because we've had a couple of days, and you know, without filling up. And we've had showers, stuff like that. So you use more water than you think. Now, a lot of the water places are not actually in operation at the moment because it's early in the season. So we've come to Ranworth Broad. Now, Wendy says, do you know there's water there? And I thought, well, there's water, but is it is it on? Luckily, we pulled up and um, the water was on, so we've used it. Uh, another boat pulled up. He's filling up with water. Then another bloke pulled up and he waited to use the hose pipe I was using. And then another another boat pulled up the other side. He's filled up with water and he's cleared off now. So that I think people are finding the same thing. There's not much water about. Well, there is. They're not turning the taps on. Now, where we are at the minute, you can't you can't moor here in the summer. It's chaos. But we were talking to a bloke who pulled up and he said, I'll show you, look. If you look behind me, we're at Ramworth Broad. Mate, the chair gets in the way. It's so big, isn't it? Now you see that look, that's like a visitor's centre and there's a shop on the side and there's a, a calf there and he, he says to us, they charge you £10 a night now to, to moor up here in the summer. So the locals refuse to pay, the local boaters. And uh, he says, but the bloke was creating about it, but he says he's found now all the hire boats seem to have more money while they're on holiday, ain't they? So they moor up straight in his calf. And he's made that much money, he's opened it into a restaurant in the evening, and they're pouring in again. He says he's raking it in. But this was a local bloke was telling us, and he said, you know, it's it's just how it is, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's all right, you could, you know, you could complain, but if you're on holiday, you've only got a week, you've got to make the most of it. And I mean, most families and couples, the man and the woman's working, you don't want to be working on your holiday, do you? So I can understand it, and also... I don't think we can see, can we? There is actually a pub across there. Now, we've been in there a few times. Well, not recently, but it used to be decent for... for it might be behind that bush there. But the food in there used to be all right. I mean, I don't know what it's like now, but we've pulled up here, really, to get water. But it's a beautiful spot. Well, these chairs are great, look. I could do be taking these home. <laughs> There's the broad, look. That's Ramworth Broad. And it's lovely here. God, we've spent hours here. Usually just, you know, drop the mud weight and just swing around out there because, you know, often the moorings are full, but not at the moment. There's nobody about. Now, Wendy's sitting next to me over here, look. There she is. <laughs> and behind Wendy, there's Ramworth Church. Now, Ramworth Church 
you can climb to the top of that tower not in my knee mate not today but it's lovely up there you get a fantastic view of the broads it's worth coming here just to go up there i'll be honest i mean we did a video last year i think it was last year and i went up there it is on the internet and you get a lovely view it, it uh, i'd like to go up there now but it'd just be too much anyway i just thought i'd mention that now it's it's like lunchtime now so we'll have some lunch now i'm not sure what we're having to be honest but and we'll have a drink and then i don't know if we'll stay here i think we'll move on i don't know we'll I've see got, how we feel i've got to find out where there's some bins oh yeah well got to empty the bins that's another thing <laughs> we've not got hardly any rubbish because we brought most of the food we in fact, I think nearly all the food we've had we brought from home, but we're, we're running out now. But we have been here, that's four nights we've had now, and we've fed ourselves <laughs> with stuff we've brought, really. We have. Mm. So, um, right, I just thought I'd mention that. Oh. Now, we're just having a bit of cake with a cup of tea. We've had to resort to buying it. Look, all the cherries are at the bottom, just like ours. <laughs> There's one slight difference, though, between this and ours. Ours is lovely. This is a bit like concrete in comparison. That sounds horrible. It's lovely, the cake, but it ain't like we have at home. Look, it is nice, but look at the date on there. Best before 16th of May. There must be a load of additives in there. I've not really looked, but... We need some cake, don't we? Look what's outside. Lovely spot. In fact, we'll go right round. We're still at Ramworth at the moment. We're not moved. We will do though soon. Once we've had this cup of tea. Say so this is usually packed in the summer. One boat over there, look, that's it. People come for water and go. All right, I'm gonna eat me, uh, me lead cake. 